Yeah, go on again. Good, so what I want you to do now, just come and stand over here and have a swing for me. Now look where you struck it. Whoa, way behind, isn't it? Way behind, right? Now, without the ball, that's where the ball was. I set up for that again. Now, you're gonna have to use your timing to strike it later. That was better. So what did you do to make it later? Yeah, something changed though, because you something physically changed. Can you stand on that for me? That's lined up in the middle. Just do some, maybe step back if it's too far. Just do some little swings and strike it here. Right back there, just a little tiny swing. Back here, back here. Further back, further back. Good. Okay, now do some little swings. Strike it over there. What do you feel the difference is? A bit more of a delay. So, what's happening while there's delay? What's happening while? What are you doing? Well, this is going forward for this. Now, notice what you, how you use the board. I want to show you an exercise here, ready? You're going to strike there, then there, then there. As long as it's sequential in this direction. So, you can even have time out in between, right? As long, but you can't stop the golf club moving. But I want you to, what I want you to notice is what you're doing with this. Yeah. The timing of this. So, you're going to go, what? Oh, well, that was too early, but it doesn't matter. As long as this one's later, and that one's later. So that was a bit too late, so I'm going to have to go early next time. There, there, there. And that's probably still too late with my first one. That was better. So I want to get a sense of what I'm doing, the timing of bottoming out here, here, and then how I'm moving to bottom it out there. You've already got this movement. You've already got this movement. You've got the vertical, you've got the shift. What we've got to do is recognize the output. We've got to recognize what the timing of this does, i.e. with the net result of the golf club, with the club. What's the net result here with the grinding strike of all this combination of timing and movement here? So if I start fatting it, I know exactly what it feels like to shift my low point, to shift my stride. There, to there, to there. And what I'm doing on the board is I'm recognising how I'm shifting my weight and the timing of it. It's not just shifting your weight, it's not just transfer of weight. It's timing of that weight, it's the speed of the transfer and how quickly you can stop it. Because you have to be able to stabilise the board to let this go. If this is still moving as you're swinging, it's all unstable. Yeah. It's like trying to fire a cannon from a canoe. You fire it and it'd be like Psh! all over the shop. So we've got to stabilize first before we can fire with precision. Bang, Psh! next one, bang, there, next one, bang. Look, it's stable. And I can even then, and you do this really well, you extend and your body's used to extending as this goes down and strikes the ground. You've got, the, you've got the bits that are this to get. All we've got to do now is go bang, bang, bang. But you can have little swings in between. See how you go. The ultimate is to do it in three goes, one, two, three, and have it progressively further forward. <laughs> Brilliant. First go. Like I said, you've got really high skill set for this. You've got to just learn to apply it in the right way. Yep. What we're doing here is we're learning to learn. This is how you fine tune your skill set. So you're challenging yourself with your body weight on the board. One, two, three. So you know if you ever say to yourself, why am I fatting it? It's like, well, all I need to do is just do that, to not fat it. Do you know where I'd be practicing this? In a bunker. I'll be honest, a bunker. And you I could go, be. you could just go, bang, without moving your feet. I want a divot there, divot there, divot there. Bang, bang. Bang. Yeah. You're doing the same thing. So now, see if you can do it first time, after just after the ball. Just after just, the ball? Just after it, so it's actually on it. And then the divot's just after it. Have another go. 
and again, and again. It's after it, but it's, and again. Mm. Notice how early you rock the board to get the, to get the pressure, to get the weight shift across. Now you know the handle, yeah. the handle, yeah it's travelling, but as soon as the handle does this, it's going to bottom out. So if you wanted to bottom out later, the handle, oh, you go across the yeah then, no no, not holding it, just watch, just, in fact let's do it with your right hand. So this handle is going to do this at some point, it's going to, it's going to do this, watch the handle, it does that at yeah. some point, as soon as it does that, that, goes down. Yep. Now if you can, watch this, if you can make that go for longer that way before it does that, you get a later low point. So all you're doing is letting the handle go with you for longer, then it's going to go down. If you love the coaching and want to experience the effects of the training that you see with our pupils, you can purchase the GRFI system yourself by following the link in the video description. You'll get all the equipment and a two hour download covering all the fundamentals, exploring your movement and how you can use the ground and create those all important ground reaction forces and transfer them through to club head speed and experience the gains that you're seeing in the videos. You don't hold this thing, you just let it release later. It goes down later. Yeah, it just goes down later. Yeah. That's it, look. Brilliant. Is that a different feel? Yeah. So watch this, the club's travelling and then it just does that later. You're not trying to hold it, you're just letting it go. You've got to let it travel for longer, then let it go. That was perfect. Now have another go, Warren, here. Oops, so those Yeah, that's okay. Whoa, what was that one? Yeah, it might happen because you know what, that was so late. Very light, wasn't it? But it was also probably from the inside, so can we swing left? This is what you should be thinking when you've just done that, is don't, don't see it as, don't react adversely to it, just think, well, why? And I might just swing left. Oops. And late, now it's so much later, this is fine. I'm gonna go. Now you've got to rotate. Carnage, here comes a bit of carnage. Exactly, now, now use your rotation from your feet on the way back. And there we go. More rotation. Absolutely perfect, great shot. Probably the best one. This is where though, Warren, just be mindful. You can't, you know, if you get start shank, get a couple of shanks, you can't start thinking about fixing a shank. What you do is you stick to your process and you go, do you know what? I just need to go through the process, go back to my rotation, and suddenly, you know what? It all combines. Because what we're doing here is we're working on the components that are important and Trust they all you gel together. Trust the process, but work on all the elements and then go back, Warren, go back round it go back round it, go back round it, and it, then it spirals up and they all gel, as opposed to reacting to some unexpected outcome, and then you start changing things dramatically, you start focusing on other things, and then you're thinking, that sporadic thinking kicks back in, you start, you become scrambled again. Yeah. Whereas go back around the process, and then go, just go again now, back into your rotation through your feet, and then everything we've just been doing can happen, because what comes first is rotation of the, through the feet, then this happens. Awesome and balance. So you need that bit first, and yeah. then you get this bit. If you get Shanks thinking of this bit, guess what? You've probably just been thinking about this too much, and you've not been rotating through your feet. So let's do it again now. So rotation through the feet, because think of it in ta as a timeline, Warren. This happens first, and then this happens. You have to do all this on the backswing to create this opportunity on the downswing. It's a bit light, but... Yeah, more, and again, more rotation now, because then, then it gives you more time. So rotate through the feet. Let's get that torque from the ground. Let's really spiral up on the way back. Brilliant. So powerful. That's awesome. So fades, fades, fades. Get